Uh, this edition of the Rhythm Report brought to you by FreeKeen.com, which uh, has been underwriting Rhythm Report activities for the last few days. Uh, but uh, I, I'm actually in Epping today at the end of my Keen trip, and um, I have big news to report in that uh, Epping police officer, pro-liberty Epping police officer Brad Jardis, is not going to be terminated. Um, the board, uh, the, the, the Epping Police Department failed to uh, get him terminated. Everyone was expecting he would be terminated tonight at a, uh, at a hearing. Um, but I have Brad right in front of me here, although you probably can't see him hardly at all. Uh, but you can hear his voice. Uh, Brad, you were telling me you, you didn't really, you didn't expect to do this well today. No, I, um, it's pretty rare for a uh, governing, uh, excuse me, appointing authority to not follow the recommendation of their chief law enforcement officer, and the chief's recommendation was that I be fired. You know, it, it's funny to me, it's, it's sort of, I almost feel strangely bittersweet in a sense, because I, I like Chief Dodge, you know, um, he seems to be a stand-up guy in a lot of ways. Um, he's been getting some pressure from the Attorney General, apparently, to fire you. Um, that he, came up in the hearing, too, one of the selectmen was freaked out about it. Well, you know, Chief... Greg Dodge is a good person, and um, I, as much as he is undoubtedly upset with me, um, I respect him. He has a he has a wonderful family, uh, two beautiful girls, uh, and uh, a wife who's just awesome. But in this situation, I think that he was presented with um, a bunch of uh, tough decisions. And the being in his position, you know, do I support a guy that's unpopular, or do I do something that um, would solve the problem? Um, I personally think that he made the wrong choice, um, unfortunately. And I didn't want to make this all public, and I didn't want to make this a spectacle, but I felt like I didn't have any choice. And, you know, months and months went by when I didn't say anything, but then once he showed that he wasn't going to uh, stick up for me, and what was I supposed to do? That's why I made everything public. Now, you had indicated... Um I'm trying to remember. I'm losing my train of thought now. Um, you had indicated earlier... Oh, never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. Go ahead and say what you were saying. <laughs> well, I... I, I I allege, and I truly believe in my heart, that this is, this is about my being a member of uh, law enforcement against prohibition and um, a vocal, avid supporter of the Free State Project because I believe in freedom, I believe uh, in liberty, and I believe that we as police officers should live up to our code of ethics, which says that we respect the constitutional rights of all men to liberty, equality, and justice. And um, so many things we do are immoral. Um, so many victimless crimes just, just hurt people, and I think we need to um, have, have a paradigm shift. And, you know, I mean, I, I understood in the beginning that when I got, you know, when I started speaking out about these things, it wasn't going to make me popular, but it doesn't justify me being treated um, the way I have been, I, I don't believe. Now, you had indicated that, that you were going to, you, you told the, the board that you would be willing to take a psychological evaluation to prove that you're fit for duty, um, and now that's what they voted to do, basically. Yeah. Uh, and how do you feel about that? Are you standing in front of a government psych uh, or well, shrink or whatever? <laughs> well, I mean, um, I, I certainly um, presume that my attorney will make sure that it's done in a fair manner. Um, I would point out that no one can point to any instance where I've, where my um, mental capacities have ever been, um, you know, questioned. I've never been accused of excessive force. I've never been accused of... Um, uh, you know, of lying or doing anything untoward, um, you know, other than minor transgressions and accidentally crashing a cruiser because I was opening a thing of carrots. Um, you know, I mean, that's I, bad. I, you know, I, but yeah, we've all done bad. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it was a, it was a stupid mistake, and, and I feel bad about it. I'm, but um, you know, they don't. In order, to, it's very hard to fire a government bureaucrat. And normally. It, 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 nor, normally, um, and they just didn't meet their burden of proof. I sympathize with the, the position that the police chief is in because he, uh, and the board of selectmen, um, but I think if the chief had um, handled this differently, um, that this wouldn't have happened in the first place. But at the same time, I'd like to consider myself a good guy, and I, I don't want to make other officers' lives difficult. Um, I just want to do my job and continue to speak out on why you know we need to spread the message of liberty and so on. All right, well, I have a terrible signal here, so I better cut this off because it's going to be too long to get it on the air. But thank you, Brad, and congratulations for staying on the force. All right, Dave Riley signing off for the report, brought to you by uh, FreeKeen.com. You can do what FreeKeen.com did and uh, send the Ridley Report where you want the Ridley Report to be. You know the Ridley Report. I'm a cheap bastard. But if you hire me to go somewhere, I'll probably go there. Uh, and uh, the folks at FreeKeen.com got that started. All right, just uh, uh, bye.